Oh yeah, that looks so cool. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2, where today, as you can quite clearly see on the screen, we have a beautiful cinematic camera going on. So what are we going to be doing in today's video? Well, we're going to be looking at the new updates that have came to Jurassic World Evolution 2. And more specifically right now, we're going to be focusing on the four new dinosaurs that have been released. That being Uteranus, the Dinochirus, the Saur little squirrel dinosaur thing, and then the flying bat thing. I don't know what that one's called either. Uh, we're going to be checking out their different animations. Uh, killing animations for goats and prey animals like we just saw oh we had go cam for a second um as well as seeing their battles with each other and see if there's any cool interactions that we can really check out because that's what we want to see we see new sort of dinosaurs new creatures come to the game we want to see right we are back in the malta research facility why because i very re oh look at that oh they're what a cuties they're all wearing the same shirts oh this is kind of like a cult Oh dear. <laughs> anyway, no, this is going to be a lovely time. I, I mean, we've been waiting for an update for the longest time. And finally, we're here. And what we're looking at right now, this is the free update. Um, even if you don't buy the DLC, you will get a free update. And this allows for one, what you're seeing right here, and that is a cinematic camera. Normally, when you click C, you can zoom in and you go into camera view mode and stuff like that. And you manual change things, roll the camera and stuff like that. Now, you have a cinematic camera. So if I click G the content come up so you can actually set a timer for how long you want your um park to be on display you can also change certain things so if you just want all dinosaurs if you want all viewing galleries you want all tours and transport loads of different things uh, so if we go into a manual there you go so these are the classic ones that have always been there take a trip to jurassic world greetings from jurassic park i don't know if, maybe these are new actually i don't remember post come up with stamps <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of cool. I like this. Film logos. Oh, I mean, I guess they're there. Sure. <laughs> Letterbox, different than um, if you're a Peter Jackson or whatever. All that jazz. We'll put none on. You've got your filters now. I think these might be new as well. I feel like the night vision. I mean, we have to have that. That is a great addition. Sepia and grayscale. Yeah, they're cool too. And then guidelines. Of course, you've got the rule of thirds and nothing else. Now, if we go into here, you can set a time for long. So if you just want to be set on a on a certain view for a long period of time, you can. Uh, there's also different... Th you've got zip lines as well. You've got all these different uh, selections that you can choose from. Camera movement uh, can be manual automatic. So it will just stay on one or it can kind of do a nice pan. That's completely up to you. And just another absolutely brilliant way of, you know, adding something into this game that you don't necessarily need anything to do right there's no extra features added i mean maybe they've added a few cameras to cycle through depending on uh what your park is maybe they've added for certain islands and stuff like that but it's it's just i mean this is already a beautiful looking game we can't deny it and now we've got this amazing uh like way to view our dinosaurs and that's what we really want right we want new ways it maybe you don't want to play you're just sticking on the background i don't know why you would if it's screensaver let's be honest let's do my little computer in he's going <laughs> the whole time but hey yo code cam and it's gone again uh, but yes uh, so we are here and we may as well get into the meat and bones of today's uh, video so dino Kairos being the big herbivore Uteranus being the feather carnivore there was a lot of speculation as to whether we would actually have uh different ages uh like baby Uteranuses because of one picture but it was just apparently a scale and uh, they basically done that and they'd put it like all the way on the floor so it looked like some things were really big or small in the background, but actually they were big. And that's, apparently that's what caused it. I personally think it, they, they scaled them down. <laughs> they have the ability. It's a little easter egg for future. But let's see the Dino Kairos' intro. Oh, hey, hold on. Before we do that, let's have a look at Species Viewer, shall we? So these are the normal looking things in the skins. Uh, <laughs> very interesting. Let's have a look. Let's have a quick glance through. Ooh, that's a nice one. That one's the Chaplin Valley. Okay, ooh, the Quillian Mountains are a nice one too. Uh, Salvavards, also looking quite nice. So let's let's check check out the, uh, yeah, kind of the Yukon. Okay, and then the different sort of patterns. Ah, so there's, there's two variations. Ah, I like it. So you've got inverting stripes, but you will always have a stripe, I think. 
There's, I mean, there's blank patterns, so if you, if you just fancy no stripes, you've got stripe, inverted stripe, and then not stripe. <laughs> anyway, let's get back. Let's get back and actually seeing it. And without further ado, let's release our first ever official Dinochirus. Oh, look at it waddle. Oh, it's got big chunky toenails. Look at you. <laughs> it doesn't have so much of a beak as like a, 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 a little like giant lips. Oh, are these ones all the same? I'm pretty sure they're not. No, they're not, but those two look very similar. I there we go. This downy dinosaur is often likened to an ostrich. Not surprising, I suppose, considering the long neck, the feathers, the beak. It's just a lot bigger in size, huh? But if things go awry, something tells me this one doesn't need to bury its head in the sand. <laughs> Oh, okay, so we got Cabot Finch kind of confirming that this thing is going to be able to fight back against carnivores, and I cannot wait with its little short dumpy arms. Look at it there. <laughs> really? I mean, I you know, we played Path of Titans and the Dinochirus and that, and most games actually with the Therizinosaurus sort of dinosaur, you know, they can hold their own. They're, they're things not to be messed with, especially for the inexperienced carnivore. So, oh, 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 I thought we were going to get the uh, the animation of them interacting with each other. But I think, is this it? No. Let's see if we can get that one on the go. Oh, look at little scratchy scratches. Have you got fleas? Bet you do. If I'm honest, this isn't the dinosaur that I'm most excited about when it comes to this DLC. Uh, more excited about the Uteranus. I feel like I've seen a lot of Dinochiruses or, you know, feathered sort of Therizinosaurids therin looking creatures. Um... But actually, uh, this this design, it's okay. It's an, it's an okay design. Um, I think I prefer the one where it's, it's more of a beak looking kind of thing. Maybe this one's more scientifically accurate, but then again, this is Jurassic World. Let's be honest. We're not really expecting a scientific accuracy here. <laughs> but uh, as far as like a general design goes, oh, 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 they just, oh, dude, they're territorial. Oh, this is a fight. This isn't, this isn't an interaction. Oh, oh, okay, right. Well, there you have it. That that guy won. Um, I. Ooh, let's have a look. What what do they need? They eat fish, and they're also plant eaters. Um, their population is fine, but I guess they just need more things. And because this guy is not a carnivore, we won't get any cool animations of it killing goat or killing guests. Apart from you know the usual of it killing guests, which is just running them over and them going miles. But because this is a fish eater, a piscoval, uh, we will get to see some cool, oh, that's very judgy stays. Like you're drinking by water. Anybody want a fish? Come on, get your num nums. Oh, here we go. Ooh, oh, nice. Didn't even use the claws at all. They're just straight in with the uh, the dive to get a fish. Love how the other Judicarus is blocking the way. Really cool. Whoa, oh, oh, okay. Oh, apparently everyone's really hungry. They're all going to be eating fish at the same time. Maybe we'll get a cool interaction. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. Say, that's my fish. I love how the, the, the fur is sort of interacting with the uh, the wind. It really gives this um, sort of feel, a real feel of this environment. It, it doesn't look stale. And, um, oh, oh, I thought that was a different claw, but it wasn't, though. They, they seem to always just go for their uh, faces to catch these fish. Interesting. But with the fur, uh, like, sort of vibrating, reverberating the way it is, it really does give a sense of, damn, that's high gust winds right here. It doesn't look it otherwise. This guy really doesn't like the other one eating its fish, which is very interesting. <laughs> but hey -ho. oh, this is gorgeous. Look at them go. It's a shame we're not getting any um, any extra, like, claw slashes from the fish, like, scooping. Um, even though they do seem to have relatively different uh, sorts of uh, eating animations. But it, all, it is all just uh, sort of balancing with the claws on the, on the side of the feet as if any balance goes on. And then, oh, I love that. I love the sort of... <laughs> It's always the one to the left, doesn't like the one to the right. Uh, so they, they balance with the claws and then they use their mouth really to just pluck up little bits of fish. Oh, that was like a diamond fish. That looked like something from Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. 
<laughs> but again, a really cool animation here. Another one there with the claws. Now, with that being said, I think there's one more thing left to do. And that is, of course, see what they're like against an Allosaurus. It's, is it going to hunt it or is it actually going to fight it? Oh, it looks like we are... Oh, a slashy fight already. Okay, Allosaurus winning and then... Oh, that slash from the Therizinosaurus. Very similar... Oh, sorry, sorry, I was going to say very similar to the Therizinosaurus. But yes, no, it's very similar to the Therizinosaurus. Um, and this is from Dino Carris. Okay. The Allosaur did win that one. Oh, and another thing I completely forgot about this is they have finally, finally added slow motion into this. So you've got like a final battle scene between Simba and Scar. <laughs> this has been, I think, in the game for a long time. Like slow-mo has been an option with capture mode, but it never seemed to work. But finally, at least as far as I'm aware, They've added it in, and it works like, look at that. Oh, the vibe looks so cool. Just... Yeah, you need like that. Oh, like get some Chronicles of Narnia final battle music here. It'd be brilliant. Oh, here we go. Is this going to be it? A raw lunge hit. Oh, no, it's not. No, it just falls over and dies. <laughs> I was expecting something. A bit more interesting. Damn. Damn. Oh, that's a shame. I'm assuming then if Dino Kairos does a fight, attacks the Allosaur, it's probably just going to do that, isn't it? I get the feeling it is. Ah, oh, that's a letdown. All right, with that all being said, let's have a look at a genetically modified ultimate Dino Kairos. Oh, this one's the boy. Oh, look at that stripe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a skip button for the introduction. Oh, oops. Hold on. There we are. Woo! Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, that's a fighting color. Yeah, look at that guy. All right. Already, straight into the battle. Arms raised, ready for the hug of death. Will it go first? Of course it does. Of course it does. Even after a kill, the Allosaur doesn't stand a chance against this guy. Look at him. Look at <laughs> Don't kill me. Go and hit it again. Oh, no. Okay, that'll do. Just one slash. That's all that's needed. This could be the end of the Allosaur. They, I think the Dinocarus won the last battle that I, you know, didn't show. Because it was just them hitting each other backwards and forwards. But is this going to be the final hit? Oh, it wasn't. But it, it's going to get close to it. Another hit. Oh, two in a row. Oh, imagine if it just leapt on it and went slash, 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 slash. And like got it into the ground. But I, I have a feeling that it's it's either going to end here. Yeah, it's going to end there. But, oh, Alisor not looking good now. 4% health. I don't even know how it survived that. All right, come on, then. Finish it. Is it going to be an interesting animation? Or is it just going to be the slap of death? What do we think, guys? I think slap of death. I don't know. Seeing as how the Alisor killed it and nothing interesting happened... I have a feeling that Dino Kairos is not going to have anything interesting to do with the Allosaur when it comes to this death. So far, the Dino Kairos gets it, the Allosaur down to literally no health. 3%, 4%, 7%, and then they just don't know how to finish it, so they both walk away. So that's why this guy has three victories now, and the Allosaur, I think, has three losses? Yeah, three losses. So it will constantly keep losing, but the Dino Kairos is a merciful herbivore. And doesn't want to kill it. So that's interesting. <laughs> so without further ado, let's try something else, shall we? Let's try these tiny little demons. Oh, no, never mind. We didn't do that one. Hold on. Demons. There we go. Look at them. <laughs> little bats. Oh, hold on. I forgot the thing again. Reptile is the Jailopterus. It's pretty cute, huh? Well... You see those tiny little fangs? <laughs> They'll give you a nasty nip if you're not careful. So be careful. Okay, so they're kind of... They're really interesting looking creatures. They look more like bats than they do pteranodons. Never heard of this one before. The Jehelopterus or Jehelopterus. Right, 
Okay, so I'm assuming it's a fish eater, so we'll give it some fish. But what I also want to do, and what's very interesting with Pteranodons, is sometimes they have really cool secret animations. So this thing might have an animation where it might interact with a raptor, like a raptor might hunt it down. Or it might have... Oh, okay. You're, you're just... You're, you're sat in the middle of the water, please. <laughs> They're just sort of like, oh, look at them. They're so cute. Look at his little face. What do you need? Insects? <gasps> you eat insects. You don't eat fish. Oh, that must be a new feeder then. Oh, here we go. There's the new zip lines. That's very interesting. Enclosures. Food. There they are. Whoa, as soon as I placed this down, they came in so quick. Oh, look. So you got moths here? So they sort of land. Oh. Yes! Look at them go! <laughs> they just go and chase them! Oh, what cuties! Let's follow this guy. Oh, oh, where's he gonna go? Where's he gonna go? Is he chasing one? Nope, nope, I, th I don't think he's even eating anymore. I think he just, he ate some and then flew off. Oh, there we go! Oh, yeah, he got it! You know what would be even easier for this? If we did this in slow motion. Yeah, okay. Now we can really keep an eye on them. Let's see this guy. Oh, oh, there he goes! He had that one! What about you? Oh, are you going to go for one? Oh, I mean, kind of seemed to appear out of nowhere when you ate that one, but hey -ho. So if these guys only eat insects, I'm kind of thinking they're probably not going to eat, uh, what you call it, goats. Oh, look at you, little cutie. Okay, let's have a look. Ooh, you got Sonoran skin. Which one looks nice? Oh, that one, Chaplin Valley looks really gorgeous. As well as Quillian Mountain. The contrast with Yukon River looks good too. Uh, Amazon Rainforest, that's kind of okay. I think this one's still my favorite so far. And as far as patterns go, yeah, look at that. Okay, that has to be it. They're gorgeous. They look like butterflies. Plain. It just doesn't see... Like, why would you pick plain when you have all of these amazing... Like that one. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so you got Chaplin Valley with Chalcarana. Or... Even with Quillian Mountains, that looks really cool, too. Oh, look at them. Even the ear, ears change and the eyes change as well. Why would you ever have blank? You just wouldn't, right? It's Chalcarana with either Quillian Mountains or Chaplin Valley. It has to be. I'll put a goat in here. Go on, sure. Why not? Yes. Put the goat in. Will the goat die? Run, goat, run. I will be very surprised if the goat dies. Go just drowned itself. And while we're here, why don't we just see what a Quetzalcoatlus makes of them, shall we? Look at this guy go. You're going to hit the fence? Yeah, he does as well. If you do have these guys in your park, you're going to have fair warning before they break out. Oh, did you see that they just killed the Quetzal? Damn, look at him. Cold-blooded eyes of a murderer. Yeah. Oh, it was me. Ha. Oh. <laughs> My god, someone break out of this already. I'm gonna go get something to drink. You better break out by the time I get back. Finally! It only took everything to die to get this thing to break out. Jesus, there you go. Eat some people. Yes! You know what it is? I've never actually just taken control of this when there's a Quetzalcoatlus being around. Oh, look at you! Oh, yum yum! Shoot the guy! Put him out of his misery! They do move in herds! Okay, no matter... How long I wait here, what I tempt them out with, they don't budge. Apparently, these guys don't want to leave. Honestly, these things, I don't think you've got anything to worry about. If you have these in your park, they very rarely break out. And no, they, in fact, no, they didn't. They, they can't even break out. Even when the gate <laughs> has been left wide open, giant hole in the fence, they don't leave. Don't want to leave. Don't think you got anything to worry about these guys. Well, hey, you know what? If you guys manage to get some cool animation, oh, more power to you, but I cannot seem to get anything. So we'll move on to the next dinosaur. Cynosauropteryx. That's it. Look, and it's so cute. I mean, this one, yeah, definitely. That's all. Ooh. Oh, look at all the colorings. That's cool. That's cool. Is there anyone that's not? No, it looks brilliant in no matter what pattern. And then you've got... Oh, okay, okay. So it, it gets some little mascara, some eyeliner changes. <laughs> I kind of like that. Also, don't mind it when it's just blank as well. But that looks really cool. Yes. Gorgeous colorings. And we get to see any of the animations. Oh. 
I feel, oh, oh my god, it chases its own tail. Oh, that's brilliant. A walking animation, standing, sprinting animation, and then a little screechy, as well as slippy time. All right, well, let's go see this in action. Releasing Cynosauropteryx. Ooh, oh, those are, those are really small. <laughs> I mean, oh, look at the wiggly tail. Oh, that's so cute. Wow. Let's see what they have to say about these little guys. Yeah, little tykes, yeah. You might think that the Cynosauropteryx is the perfect size for a cute plushie to take home. Yes. But this dinosaur is a pretty mean hunter for something so small. Trust me, you really don't want this one snapping at your heels. Ooh, okay. Okay, I mean, a bit like they did with the Dinochirus, although, you know, building up this, oh, they're a bit dangerous. So, kind of interested. Oh, have we got a, a social animation here? These two look like they're eyeing each other up. Oh, they scuffle and fight. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that, that kind of like little angry honey badges or raccoons. Oh, that's cool. I love it. Now, will they work in a pack a bit like the Morris Entropides or Entropides, sorry, or the Comsognathus? That'll be interesting. I'll release a code and just see how they do against that thing. Will they choose Peeth or will they choose Death? Oh, at least we get to see it eat from the feeder a little bit. Just gets stuck right in there, doesn't it? No, look at your little face. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't do what the combi does, and that's like run on, take a little bit, and then run off. But I'm very curious to see if they're going to put any uh, animation between... Oh, look at these guys, they're running in sync. Uh, any uh, animations between other small dinosaurs? Because we now have quite a few. We have Lystrosaur, this guy, Comsognathus, um, the Morris Intrepidus. We've got a lot of dinosaurs that are... They could really have some interesting interactions between each other. Something in the same ballpark. Let's see just what they do. If something maybe just a little bit smaller approaches them. Something like a Comsognathus. Around about the same size. Again, a flock animal, especially in this game, where they do a lot of things to goats and people if there's multiples of them. If they're just by themselves, then they don't really. In fact, they look to be maybe a little bit smaller than the compi, which is really weird. But I think the compi is a little bit taller. Well, we'll also release a homalocephale as well. Why not? Dinosaur that's a lot bigger. But if there's any herbivore they might have a kill animation with, it's going to be homalocephale. If we're going to get an animation between small dinosaurs, this is it. Otherwise, these guys could all kind of go in one enclosure and be completely fine. Oh. Well, you look dead. That's interesting. <laughs> oh, these guys do attack in a pack. Very interesting. I didn't think they would be. There you go. Some angry little squirrels. Squirrels. Will they kill the goat? Or will the goat survive? Whoa, there it goes. Boink. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like the goat might win this one. And they've just given up. Well, well done. Well done. A plus for effort. Well done. <laughs> so they are pretty much just like Comsognathus, Morris Intrepidus. When there's a lot of them, they go for the goat, and they'll probably also go for people, too. There you go. Uh, kind of broke his neck there. And... <laughs> oh my god, there's so many of them. The poor goat doesn't stand a chance. Oh my god, there's loads of them on now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Goat in trouble, or is it? Does goat win? Go win? Go wins! Well done, goat! You're stupid! <laughs> All right, time for fun and games to be over. Let's release them into the public. Ha how? Oh my god, he went flying. <laughs> oh, but oh, they're taking on. Oh, gets the wall! Dude, you killed it! <laughs> she just chucked it against the wall and it died. No, that one died too! Oh, oh my god! No! My babies! My stupid babies! <laughs> they all died! In one foul soup! One, two, three, four, five! And then she died! And then the coffee in the end! Oh my god! Look at him! What an absolute mad lad. Well, I think we've pretty much seen that. We've seen the compies kill things. 
You've seen the weird little demon, squirrel, raccoon, honey badger things kill things. Now on to the main event, the one that we have been waiting for, the Uteranus. Yes, look at it, there it is, in a Yukon River and Rana pattern. But oh, oh, that's so good. Oh, that is brilliant. A dinosaur that isn't like the T-Rex, you know, that got some feathers and it still kind of looked like a T-Rex. No, this one's been designed specifically in mind for this fur and was one of the few dinosaurs that we kind of know, I'm pretty sure, had feathers. Correct! Oh, they're also good. I kind of like the gray one, a bit off-white. Off Where is it? Yeah, that one. Okay, let's have a look at the patterns. Svalbard and Pulcherana. Yep, yep, that's what I like. It's got the Allosaur sort of red crest on the top there, as well as that pattern that looks gorgeous. Although that one looks nice. Kind of like an Aurora Borealis on the head, as well as a lovely, beautiful blue eyeball. So Uteranus actually has five that can hatch from it, which is a lot. That's a lot of big carnivores. And let's see the five animation. Oh, yes. Oh, that looked so cool. Look at them go. Oh, damn. That looked awesome. The feathered tyrant brought so much excitement, so much intrigue to the scientific community when it was first discovered. And here we find ourselves in the presence of that illustrious tyrannosaur. Just don't be too surprised if it ruffles a few feathers, okay? <laughs> I get it, I get it. <laughs> What's quite interesting about this is because they look fairly similar in, like, pattern to the, especially with this one, to the um, the other small feathered dinosaur, the Soros uh, something, I can't remember what it's called. Um, you could technically pretend in your head that these are the adults and then those are the babies because they look very similar, especially when you get the patterns looking like that. And I'm wondering how much of that they thought about. Actually, oh, oh, here we go. Ooh, a little, oh, okay. I'm just gonna say, well, let's just walk into the viewing gallery there. But that was the interaction that they have between themselves, which is quite interesting. Okay, here we go. Here's the social animation. We didn't get a good look at it last time, but this time we should do. Oh, oh, oh no, he's just trying to be friendly. He's like, oh. But can we just talk about that entry animation? How quickly it was like turning its head, like cocking its head to the side as if like looking around at its surroundings and just taking it all in before then all three of them at the front going out. Ah, that looked so freaking marvelous. That was brilliant. All right, then. Right, let's see how you guys eat a homalocephale. <laughs> oh, no, I get to die again. Yay. You know what? I'll happily take a little battle if that's what you want to do. Go on, go for it. Okay, so yeah. yeah. I mean, we expected it to be this, didn't we? It was going to be the regular sort of Allosaurus battle, medium carnivore, just swiping to the right. Like a good old date. Oh, oh, oh no! No! Oh, blessed no! <laughs> look at the eye on it, like, gotcha! <laughs> no, look at the poor little baby, no! No! Oh, the lift up! Ooh, oh, I thought it was going to shake it and go down to the ground, but no. There it is. Oh, there it is. The whack. And another one. No. Oh, well. At least it didn't have to suffer too long. Oh, you're not going to eat it whole. I thought you would have. All right, then. Look at that. Icy green eye. Murder most foul. Oh, you know, just eating to survive. I'm assuming that they will have the same animation for the goat, but we'll put one in here just to see how that goes. Oh, wow, that did not take long for that guy to go for it. Go on, go, run, run, go, now! Whoa, oh, what? Oh, no, you eat that goat hole. Ah, okay, <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's do that again. So the homalocephalate was like a pickup and a bash bash. With the, with the goat, it was just grabbed by the head and just shake it. Bit of a homage to the way the, um, what was it? The lawyer died in Jurassic Park. All right, here we go. Grabs and then, oh, shaky shake. Bam, bam, bam. Just break the neck and then. Jesus, in a good hole. <laughs> Just shows how big that go is when it would slide in there. Oof. I think you might want to chew your food a little bit first, but all right, I'm not one to judge. So we've seen how you snack on something that's incredibly small. But how about a medium size herbivore? You know, like a Gallimimus. <laughs> You're going to grab it by the neck and do the same sort of thing? Or are we going to... You know what? I'm not going to give you any ideas. You you have, have fun with it. How will this hunt go down? 
Oh, knocks it over. And then a quick wretch of the neck to break the spine. Beautiful. No, 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 you're not allowed to eat it. We must take it away. You've got other battles to face. All right, apparently Allosaur is just too tough for you to run us. So we'll go with, you know, Carnotaurus, a smaller one. All right then, guys, come on. Go on then, you've already had a little bit of experience. Carnotaurus hasn't. It's literally just been born. You've got all the perks, 30% attack, 30% defense, 30% fit, and yes, does go for the first hit. Brilliant. A third bite. Oh, that's it. Third bite does it. Wow. Okay. So no kill animation for the yurt with that. Okay. I thought they could do something quite interesting with it, but apparently not. Well, you know what we gotta do? We gotta bring in this guy. The friggin' huge T-Rex. Just, you know, maybe there's a cool kill animation. Maybe it'll be able to kill T-Rex. I really don't think so. But let's find out. That's right, run. Be afraid. Okay, T-Rex against Yurt. Its head's about five times as big. <laughs> I'd be very surprised if the T-Rex doesn't win this. Oh my god, didn't even stand a chance. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. And of course, we have to see just, you know, what a Yutoranus does when it's let roam free and it comes into contact with human beings. By the way, can we just look at this carnivore, man? Look at the design of it. It is gorgeous. There we go. Oh, are you on the hunt? You're on the prowl looking for something in the bush. Especially this, like the Malta backdrop for it. Looks so friggin' good. Ooh, oh, gorgeous. <laughs> oh, she goes. Is she gonna get somebody? No. Just <laughs> gonna run to the back of it. All right, here we go. More out in the open. This is it. Able to hunt down a prey. Oh my god! Jesus, what? What was that? Oh, oh. <sighs> that is brutal. Wow. It was like a lunge on the floor, and then it like threw. Wow. We need to see that again. Heck yeah. Get a good shot of this. Oh, oh, yeah, that looks so cool. And then they're wallop. <laughs> it's like just a play thing. Where, where did they even go? There you are. Beautiful. Oh, he just wants to play. Right, which one will it be? I'm betting the one who's dressed different, but let's have a look. Oh, no, it wasn't. Oh, and somebody just got caught up in it. And the throw, the... Wah! <laughs> Beautiful. Well, guys, there you have it. That's all the dinosaurs sort of seen. Um, some animation shown. I'm sure there'll be plenty of other ones that we haven't seen just yet. It's very rare we get a DLC with a dinosaur that doesn't have unique animations. Maybe the go one with the Uteranus was the unique animation. And a big thank you to Frontier for giving me early access, allowing to showcase all of these new dinosaurs to you guys. And if you've enjoyed the video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye-bye.